Hi guys, James at Rampant Lion Reviews again for you today with another beer review. For this one we are going to do another Scottish beer and this is my very first review from this brewery on the channel. They're quite well known but I don't know why I've never really got around to reviewing one of their beers. It must just be I've never found it before. But for this one we are going to go to Strathaven Ales who are from the little town of Strathaven to the south of Glasgow and this is their festival ale which they describe as being an amber ale but I've seen it described on a few places as being more of a bitter beer but we'll soon find out in the tasting. So I have to give a shout out to my old flatmate Craig as well who was from Strathaven or Straven as we would call it here but um, he's, he said the beers from these guys are very good so I've got quite high hopes for this brewery so fingers crossed for the review for this one but as is usual with my beer reviews then I'll take you through a very kind of brief history of the company tell you a little bit about the brewery if you do want to get straight to the tasting just fast forward the history is only a minute or two but if you do want to go there just go ahead and the uh, there is a link there below to my other reviews that hopefully I can do from these guys in the very near future and this is the very first time I'm trying anything from this brewery I've not even tried any other things on tap before so we'll see how it goes but anyway to tell you about Strathaven Ales. The brewery is from the little town of Strathaven to the south of Glasgow, although in our Scottish dialect we would call it Straven. But the brewery itself is located in the historic Craig Mill Brewery, which is right on the edge of the River Avon. But the company was founded in 2005 by three business friends, Alan Young and then also Craig and Douglas Buchanan. And they took over this brewery from the Williams Brothers Brewing Company just before they moved to their new place in Allah, which is only a mile or two away from me. But the brewery now has a capacity of about 36 bar per week and their brewing equipment is a mixture of old dairy gear and also new brewing equipment that they bought from the Tenants Well Park Brewery in Glasgow and they also have a 500 gallon uh, stone clad brewing kettle that's of 18th century design so they do still brew some of their beers in that from what I understand so some of the things you're getting are brewed in a very unique way so as I say check out the brewery website if you want to read a little bit more about that but that's your kind of brief history of Strathaven Ales just to list a few of the other beers you can get from them They've got the Avondale, this is their core range by the way, they've got the Avondale which is an amber ale, Cleaver House which is a red ale, Clydesdale which is an IPA, Craig Mill Mild which is a black ale, Duchess Anne which is a light ale and Old Mortality which is an 80 shilling scotch ale and that's the 80 shilling is a style I need to actually visit because I've never reviewed an 80 shilling for you on the channel yet so I will do that in the near future, I've been promising that for a little while. But anyway, um, we'll move on to the tasting of this beer itself, let me just bring up the camera and let you have a look at the artwork on this one. I couldn't find out what hops and malts were in this beer. Unfortunately, I always like it when the websites tell you what's in the beer, but this one didn't actually, and this beer wasn't even listed. I think this is a this is a special one that they brew for the festivals, the beer festivals every year. Uh, and as you can see, it's got the the nice little sort of Tinkerbell kind of thing with the uh, with the hops on her on her hair and on her dress and stuff. So it's it's quite nicely presented. You can see it says Craig Mill Brewery Strathaven Ales, and it's an amber ale. Plain bottle cap on this guy. Um, doesn't really say anything on the side. Ah, it says, Festival Ale, a traditionally hand-brewed speciality ale exclusively brewed at Craig Mill to celebrate the brave men and women keeping real ale traditions alive at beer festivals throughout the country. And it has, um, they must be exporting to Germany as well because it has the ingredients listed in German, Zutaten, Wasser, Gersten, Max, Hopfen, Hefe and Enthart Gluten. So, yeah, I speak a little bit of German so I always like that. But let's get this guy out and we'll get on with the tasting here. This guy is 4.5% on the Richter scale and it should be quite a nice beer from what I've heard but I really ho hopefully I can try a few more of their, their beers at some point because as I say my old flatmate Craig is a big fan and I think he is a quite regular visitor to the Craig Mill Brewery when he goes home to Straven so maybe I'll need to take a wee drive out there at some point and see if I can buy some more of their beers or something and I'll review them for you later but yeah as you can see this guy is poured you can smell the fruit off that as you pour it actually that's without even paying too much attention to it. You just smell this fruity sweetness as it comes out the bottle. But as you can see, it's actually poured a nice kind of, sort of slightly mahogany, uh, coppery colour actually. A nice kind of uh, natural mahogany wood colour. A little bit of copper as I say. If I put my fingers behind it, you can see that it is transparent. There's a good bit of carbonation just sticking to the side of the glass as well. A lot of little bubbles and the head, you can see it's a nice mixture of frothy and bumpy there, but mainly frothy and that's about a finger and a half. It was maybe two fingers when I poured it, but it is starting to settle down, but it looks a very, very nice beer. Carbonation, is quite a bit of it's just rushing up towards the bottom of the head, but quite a bit of it's still sticking towards the, um, the bottom of the glass or the side of the glass as well, so it looks very nice.
So in terms of the aroma with this one, it's quite interesting. You've got a slightly toasty caramel coming off it, I think, but you can pick up a little bit of a cereal-y character as well. But and the main thing is a nice, kind of rich caramel malt, slightly toasted as I say, and there's a bit of biscuity sweetness to it, but there is breadiness, and the cereal I think is quite prominent. It does have that little bit of that kind of cereally spicy taste to it. But you can pick up just a little bit of grassy hop. If you sugar it up, you start to get a little bit of the fruity flavours, or the fruity aromas coming out. But there is definitely some citrus in there. I want to say there's a maybe a, just a wee bit of orange. It does have that kind of uh, note to it. But it's mainly, it's a big malty aroma you're getting off this. A little bit of citrus, as I say, and a little bit of grassy hop. But the main component is the malt. A nice toasted caramel, some slightly biscuity notes, but a big bready and cereal presence in this guy too. So it should be a really nice beer. So without further ado, this is the Festival Ale Amber Ale from Strathaven Ales in Straven, which is to the south of Glasgow, Slangia. Yeah, to me this guy comes off as more of a a bitter beer, if you like, rather than an amber ale. Yeah, the cereal element to it that you can pick up in the nose, like it is in the nose, it is quite prominent in the flavour, I think. But yeah actually very light bodied as well, that's the other impression I'm getting from this guy, but you've got a nice slightly sweet and caramel malt base coming off this one, it's just, it just kind of, there's this sort of bready character that just blankets over the middle of the palate there, which is where you normally expect the malt flavours, on top of that you've got a little bit of a kind of cereal character, and the cereal character is quite prominent, it pushes out a little bit towards the edge of the tongue, and around the back edges of the tongue, I think you're getting a little bit of earthy hop character out of there too. It's almost, I think there might be, there's probably been English hops used in this beer, just judging by the taste of it. It didn't say on the website, it wasn't even listed, but I would think from the flavour of this beer, there are English hops in this, maybe Bramlings, or maybe a bit of Fugles or something like that. But yeah, you've got a nice bready blanket just over the, the, the tongue here. And it's got a nice kind of, uh, as I say, you've got a nice cereal character in there, but you've got some slightly caramel and biscuity sweetness that just goes down the middle of the tongue. It's not too prominent. As I say, the most prominent component of this beer is the cereal flavour. And to me, this really tastes more like a bitter beer than an amber ale, I would say. Although that said... When you talk about amber ales, there's obviously two kinds. There's an American amber ale, which tends to be the very hoppy and very fruity one. American beers, craft beers, always tend to be more hop forward than malt forward, which is, is more like an English amber ale, if you like. An English amber ale always has this kind of uh, cereal-y character in it and stuff. So I would say this guy is definitely more of an English amber ale, um, or either that or it's more of a bitter. But it's, it's nice enough. It's, the bitter isn't my most, isn't my favourite style of beer, if you like, but this one's done quite well and I can appreciate it. But yeah, nice bready blanket over the middle of the tongue. Nice bit of caramel and biscuit sweetness that just goes right down the middle. Then you've got the cereal, sort of spicy cereal characters. Maybe a little bit oaty as well, actually. And that just moves out towards the uh, the sides of the tongue. You've got a little bit of earthy hop character on the back sides of the tongue. Then as you move more towards the front, you've got quite a grassy and florally um, citrusy hop coming out. That's mainly the grassy component around the front of the tongue. And it is slightly aromatic. It does have that kind of dry bitterness to it. Yeah, I'm not really picking up much in the way of citrusy flavour actually. It is more of a grassy and aromatic flavour around the front of the tongue and earthy as you move towards the back. But as I say, a nice bready blanket, a uh, little bit of caramel and biscuit sweetness, not too prominent. And then a kind of uh, 
sort of cereally flavour on top of that, an anoty sort of cereal spice this one, that's the main component of the flavour there. So if you do like a nice bitter beer then this is by all means go and check this guy out. I'm more used to the American beers that are a bit more fruity and things so I would want to try a few of the other ones in the range but this is, if you like bitter beers then this is quite a well done one. As I say, not my favourite style but I can appreciate this beer, it's nicely done. Um, so in terms of the mouthfeel of this guy, as I say it's very light bodied, the carbonation on it is quite active I would say, it is a little bit prickly and it helps helps bring out the dry hop character. But there's a good little bit of spice from the cereal in this one, as I say, and it, around the back edges of the tongue, the beer is a little bit dry, so it does have that, but there is a little bit of a kind of bready, uh, kind of slightly malty sweetness in the middle of the palate, but it's particularly dry around the back edges of the tongue. But overall, it's a nice it's a nice bitter beer, I would say. Um, to me, if you're describing it as an amber ale, it's definitely more of an English amber ale than it is an American amber ale. As I say, the English amber ale is more malt forward and you get the sort of cereally flavours that you're picking up in this guy, whereas the American amber ales are more fruity and hot forward. It's almost more just like a, a big caramel. Um, IPA if you like and it just depends on the kind of hop flavours and stuff but I mean it's a very nice beer and I really would like to try some more of the, Stra of the Strathaven Ales stuff. Hopefully I can get a hold of the 80 shilling beer. It would be quite cool to review that for you and the red beer as well. I always enjoy that. But anyway, um, I hope you've enjoyed this beer review. As always, let me know in the comments section below your own thoughts on this beer if you do happen to have tried it. Um, I will be reviewing more Straven Ales for you in the fairly near future, I'm sure. So as always, please like, subscribe, share, all the usual YouTube stuff. I've got many more reviews for you to come up, so stay tuned for those and I will catch you soon with my next beer review. Slanja.